the intro music. Yeah! Woohoo! Good afternoon, Star Trek fans. And now we've gotten through the first two days of incursions. We're EU is currently going through it as I'm making this video. So yesterday we didn't have any content because I was participating in incursions on my server. And sadly, we did not come out victorious. Shout out to Server 11 who ended up taking down Server 20. Their night crew doing a little bit better than our night crew. But today I want to focus on talking about Chakotay, who we have talked about a bit in previous videos about needing to actually have this discussion and how he works and whether or not you could use him. He's probably one of the betterly sourced epics in his initial month which was july 2023 and even though it feels like they're holding officer sourcing to phaser point right now yeah that was a lame prop I brought in just for that moment still worth discussing because event store coming in the next arc for those who don't know the next arc is going to have an event store and we know how they typically source officers you're going to then find all the chakotays and the blana torres and the tom Parises, etc in said event store and that means you got to decide if you want to go after certain ones or not. So that's what we're going to discuss here in this video and going after or discussing in full on, in my opinion, full on detail with battle logs and everything. Dakota. So let's start with what he does and how he actually works. So the captain's ability is called visionary. Now, this is going to increase the number of shots of your weapons by 70%. Uh, in this case, uh, there's some synergizations that we kind of have to think about here so if i back out real quick you'll see that i've actually got my man chicote is actually on a boat at the moment so just to show you a crew that we're going to look at you see i've got him with one synergy piece so i want to show you that because that's not his overall like general numbers and if you want to talk about those numbers well let's actually take a look at those numbers courtesy of stfc.space i want to pull chicote back up and then we'll discuss his numbers both his captain's ability and officer's ability right there so you can see what he has and then what he gets from synergy whereas janeway you saw having the effect of didn't really matter what she's paired with great synergy and you see the theme continuing here with chakota having the same property where it doesn't matter what he has next to him officer wise synergy staying very 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 much the same and very good number so base is 40 percent and he can get a hundred percent bonus if you pair him with two Voyager officers. Also take a look at his officer stats right below. That's going to be another important uh, piece right now because that is another uh, you know format of critical building. And I think that is an extremely important part of what makes Chakotay so good. I talk about every Armada build, we kind of want to focus around building criticals. It's just such an important you know piece of what makes Armada's powerful and what makes Armada officers powerful is using criticals and then combining that with whole breach for more damage. You can see 30% is where he maxes out right there. Now, how exactly does his captain's ability work? Well, I'm going to give you a little bit of a basic graph. Please keep in mind that what I'm about to show you does not technically, you know, um, show every situation because there's something called truncation when it comes to the actual coding of this game. So depending on how many shots a weapon has, the increase may or may not perfectly add you know eight shots or you know three shots and there is going to be a little bit of how's it work there but generally speaking this chart is going to cover how many shots chakotay is going to add based on synergy and no synergy shout out to john connor who threw this one together for the video so there's the basis of chakotay now let's talk about how good is he and how does he compare against other armada crew so i personally did several logs of testing but before we jump into that i actually want to use some of these logs and kind of give you a brief you know visual using a lower level ship this is using a three star ship the auger and you can see that what's considered right now probably the best armada crew like singular armada crew in the game is cisco miles and then six of eleven now six of eleven is not going to be very effective against a borg solo but against every other armada the one on the left is probably considered the best that there is out there and then to compare on the right side you see chakotay with full synergy no Janeway, which I think is important to mention, but full synergy, and that means that you're getting 100% bonus shots, first, which is more than what Miles would give. But still, you see the results, where this was a solo fight, Augur versus Solo Armada, and then you see 2.1 killed versus 7. Now, that is not to say that Chakotay is bad. Please understand that's not at all what I'm trying to argue. I actually think that Chakotay is really good. The big thing really depends on what tier do you have Chakotay at. The problem with Chakotay is the same problem with a lot of other officers, where tier one, good, tier five, amaze balls. But 
The problem is, do you get him at Amaze Balls yet? And a lot of people manage to get him to tier two or even tier three. But as you level him up, he's going to perform better and better. So let's start with here at the bottom. This is very similar to what you just saw with the full synergy of Chakotay. And you'll see right now, 18.07 mil whole health left. This is a solo. I just took my Pylum by, by itself against a level 48 Jemadar flagship. Now, I expounded on this and test out different crews. So this is probably the worst performing example. Let's move over to the next one. Now, this one, we combined that amazing power of Cisco, Miles, and then we threw Chicote in there just to give a little bit of a, you know, move around, but I'm not taking advantage of his shots. I'm just using critical hit chance, trying to get more criticals immediately. So this is just giving you more variations of the same thing. Didn't perform necessarily amazing. Here we swapped around to the number one that we always talk about probably being the default best because you're getting criticals. You're then also getting more shots and you're getting that amazing piercing value while also lifting your mitigation. You're just getting kind of a little bit of everything when you go through this. I'm going to move to the next example right here. We've got Cisco, Miles, and then Janeway, which is another really good run just because you're taking advantage of the isolytic damage, which can be very effective as you see right here. And then this one I wanted to show because I like this one as well. This is just taking Miles O'Brien adding him into Chakotay to have both of them boosting shots because they do work together and then having Janeway on the side, you see 16.89. Now keep in mind that I have only a tier one Chicote. That means my ability to create criticals is limited and that is probably the main limiting factor of Chicote for many players is you want to make sure that you're getting criticals. That's going to result in better performance in armadas, whether it's a group armada or a solo armada. Now, I want to be very clear. I am not in any way saying Chakotay is bad or performs poorly. And there are different loadouts that you can run to make Chakotay perform really well. The true key is Chakotay explodes in value, becomes such a very good officer as you tear him up. Right now, he's good. And I'll put it this way. Chakotay is part of my third solo armada crew and a very important one piece at that. And there are other ways that we can move things around. For example, we can have Chakotay, we can have Miles O'Brien, and then... We can have you know, a slew of other officers, like 6 of 11 on the side as well. There are many ways to maneuver Chakotay around to find success. And then you see I even ran one of these against just a lower level one and did very, very nicely. So it really depends on how you choose to lay out Chakotay. The truth is Chakotay is one of the best Armada officers in the game. And the biggest issue that we have to answer is, how are we going to source him? Remember when I joked about being held at phaser point, that's the kind of thing with officer sourcing. What does the long-term sourcing for Chicote look like? Because 6 of 11 is arguably the most important individual armada officer in the game. He is readily sourced in packs, in terms of the ultra packs, as well as being very relatively easy to max because he's part of transporter patterns. Then you've got Miles O'Brien, who's the other officer we debate about being arguably the best armada officer in the game. See his shot increase right there, and then low deck if you ever decide to use it. Again, he is readily sourced for players, you know, 40 plus and to an extent a little bit lower in the 35 plus range through the Bajoran faction. Readily sourced, easily available. The one drawback to Chakotay, the only drawback that prevents him from immediately jumping to the top of everybody's armada list is how quickly can you source him. If you have a tier one or tier two Chakotay, you're going to find very good results if you're using some of the combinations that we're talking about, really trying to take advantage of at least one synergy officer with him for more shots and then the more you tear him up the more almost guarantee you have for getting those criticals versus armadas i really think that chakotay if the game will source him will become one of the top three armada officers in the game once you max him if you're comparing max officers versus max officers chakotay deserves to be in the conversation the only negative is chakotay's not in the conversation as long as you can't source him and that is just kind of a big circular argument that i just made but i also think it's very fair and i'm curious to hear what players have to say in the comment section down below because I know there are a lot of tier three Chakotays out there that are outperforming some standard Armada loadouts and that's fantastic. You would really need Chakotay to get to the very very tippy top of the scales to overtake the Cisco Mile 6 of what I can do in a regular Armada. We're also assuming somebody's bringing Hull Breach whether it's Bolana Torres below Dex or somebody in the group is bringing Lorca slash Gorkon. But either way, you want him to have the same effect because critical builds all want to be paired with Hull Breach. It's, it's like steak and a good red wine. They, they just go together. So Chakotay is somebody that I think that if you have an opportunity to go after, you absolutely 
should. In terms of importance when it comes to these officers as a whole for Voyager and what we've seen released so far, with a couple more officers coming here pretty soon, not exactly a hint there, I think that you're talking about Chakotay being arguably the most important for Armadas, with Janeway being arguably the most important for general use. But again, kind of debatable there. Depends on how exactly you want to load them out. Like I said, I use my Chakotay and my Janeway as my third Armada crew, which means I'm going to take Miles O'Brien off, and then I'm going to put either Lorca to bring Hull Breach for the entire group, or I'm going to throw on Bashir so that I can almost guarantee my solo Armadas are going to get those criticals that are really going to help our good man right there pop off with all those extra shots. So, if you have any questions or if you are curious about anything else regarding Chakotay, please feel free to join me in my Discord or hit me up on Facebook. We've gotten all of our questions answered for the past week, which has been great to catch up with all of y'all. I've also been joining a lot of the Discords that y'all have invited me to, taking, up, uh, taking me up on my offer to help you individually with your accounts and the game. So, hopefully this video answered a lot of your questions. Hopefully some of the information gave everything that you were looking for. And one more time, I'll put this on the screen because I know many of you are going to be asking about it. Live long and plunder. Stay safe for the Space Cowboys. Deuces, that's me. Catch you on the next Star Trek Fleet Command educational video. And hope you enjoyed Chicote. An even better outro than the intro. For the empire and glory to your house.